What is everybody down? Oh, 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 oh. Today, I just reset my save data for Five Nights at Candies 2. I played a bit of it. I know how it works and understand how it works. Just wanted to get in some stuff. Hey, I just wanted to get in some stuff for it, and I don't want to play any more Five Nights at Candies. Are you there? Lol, you lost the bet. Let me guess, we have to stay in that old factory? I do know what that means. We gotta stay in that old factory for five nights. Oh! <laughs> I do have to spend five Most people will think you're a chicken. <laughs> Scared? Uh... Go, frick yourself. I know he always responds with lame -o. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. This is where things get real. No. I know how it works. Surprisingly, this is one of the games I'm not going in blind to. I n have a somewhat understanding of how this game works. Nobody's on the cameras. Good thing about this game is there's no power. When is the animatronic going to come in? Come on, at least give me something that will actually... Come on, hit me with a surprise! At least show me the actual animatronic itself. Sorry, it got cut off by me accidentally moving my mouse up. And I don't know how to beat the guy in the vent, but I think I just have to press the sound buttons and... Oh! Yeah, there it is. It's finally, it's Cindy. Cindy's pretty easy to deal with. Naturally. Cindy. Actually, is quite easy to deal with. You just gotta flip through all the cameras. Every once in a while, she'll move around. You know, the basics. She's in Cam 14 now. I know her patterns pretty well. She likes to move in certain areas or rows. And if you send her back to Camp 14, her pattern works remotely pretty weirdly. She always... Her pattern is always the same if you send her back to the same one every single time. Her pattern stays the same. She never catches on. So Cindy is a lot easier to deal with than she should be in this game. But, uh, I got jump scared when I was playing it normally myself I just wanted to play it so what happened was I made it to night two but I got jump scared on night two by Chester but I didn't know how to stop him I think I know how to do it now it's the little boxes 
over here. If those are the vents, most likely, and I think, and I think that's how they work. Is that in the vent? It'll just. I don't know. I don't even know where the vents are. Check around the. Just move around the cameras. And she'll naturally come around. By the second flash. Gone. Back to 14. So the repetitive formula is that everything works the same. And I think that this night it really isn't that hard. The first time I got jump scared, I actually got jump scared. It was because I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how the animatronics work, but because I didn't pay attention to the text dialogue. But when I actually paid attention to how the game worked, it was easy. Ugh, wait, whatever. By the second flash, she's always gone, and back over here, when the phone rings, it's easy. Basically, I just, like, I think this game is, re is really not that hard, it's just more about finding how to figure out the pattern of the strategy. And it's really about reacting quick. And figuring out how things work in the game. It's about quick thinking, figuring out, and really just experience and logic. Like, if you use logic to explain how you get rid of some of the animatronics in this game, you are most likely to win. But I don't know. Uh, all I know is Cindy gets disturbed by the audio, and the chimp crawls through like a vent because I heard banging on the walls when I played the other time and from the banging just out of nowhere I got jump scared which was kind of weird and I didn't really like know how it worked I haven't done much research into this game I'll probably look it up and figure out some of the strategies I mean not strategies but just how to deal with them which doesn't, which doesn't really destroy the essence of the game. The essence of the game isn't figuring out how to win. The essence of the game is the difficulty that comes in quick reactions, moving fast, and multitasking. Which is what I think, which I always thought was what the original Five Nights at Freddy's did best. Her patterns sometimes change, but it's very rarely. When you, basically what I do is I flash her twice after the phone rings. Most of the time I always, yes, yes, I did it. I did it, woo. And then there's the monkey minigame. I become the monkey after this weird flashing. Because I did record this before, but the file got corrupted. I mean, it didn't get corrupted. It's just I accidentally forgot to turn off my mic. It didn't get corrupted in any way. I lied to make that story sound cooler. And I realized I just really trolled you guys. Okay, so we go over here. Did we go... We can't go in here. I, I remember. But we can go down here. Yeah, we're going the right way. Because I remember the stupid candy thing. Yeah. Now we get the key. Now we found the key. We walk back up. My favorite part about this game is the essence. It's just, it feels so strange and eerie. You don't feel like you're... I'm... I'm I mean, in the mini games and stuff. The point of it is, it's not about. Five Nights at Candies was always about jump scares in the original. But, same thing with Five Nights at Freddy's, but now it's just really 
Five Nights at Freddy's has evolved into scaring you in ways you'd never expect. But that's pretty much about it for this video. Bye.